got somebody other than me. Don't play the. I got up, I meditated. I headed down to the ocean and I sipped my coffee while I journaled. Ooh, my eyes watering. Can you see that tear coming down? <laughs> it was so beautiful. No, it's cold, man. It's cold as shit. It feels really good. I feel alive out here with this cold air on my skin. The last couple weeks have been just pretty, pretty grindy. Been kind of stressed the last couple weeks, just nothing nothing too negative but just a lot of work with getting Moose Strong now out and kind of finally feeling like the stress is lifted and like it's almost like I'm more here I'm more mindful of what's going on around me I can more appreciate this beautiful morning and this cold air on my skin right now but uh we got some training clips as usual uh, we got some silly footage and becoming a vlogger continues. And it was to no music, <laughs> but you did it. That's a bright ass flash right in my face. I don't know how this will look, but oh, damn, I almost just tripped. <laughs> um, man, I'm just walking around at night right now. and I sometimes forget how nice it is to walk around at night. It's like nobody's out and it's just nighttime. Like the, it's not light out, the sun's not up. It's, it's nighttime but you can still be outside. I sometimes forget that. You don't have to be inside. Dude, I freaking love houses like this. They just take me into a little winter wonderland. <laughs> I'm gonna just keep walking through here. Like, I how many times I could walk by until they get a little creeped out. hitting up that Whole Foods hot bar way too much and that shit is expensive. Charge you basically have to give your kidney just to get a plate of food. It's crazy. This is some broccoli and onions and bell pepper, that baby broccoli for those non-adults out there. This is just some chicken thighs. 
We're going to top that off with some sweet bedtime. That's like the worst sight, man. Because now I got to do three dishes next time all in there. Now this is more like it. Got everything up in there. Overthinking can be a, a real obstacle, especially in this modern day life that we're living. That's everything is so glued in and everything is internet based, right? And, you know, I've received a few messages from people um, just kind of telling me their situation of overthinking leading to anxiety or depression and just just these just just living in the head and in these negative things that come with it and uh it's relative to me right now because you know i was i, I was uh kind of living in my head a lot during the last week of getting move strong now out because there there was just a lot to do and i was letting that kind of get me. I was letting that get me. And I think I needed to go through that. But, um, but yeah, like now that I'm on the other side of it, I can kind of look in and I can see what was going on and, and, you know, I can share and talk about it a little bit, you know, because it's interesting overthinking, right? Like when does it become overthinking? I guess when it starts impacting our life in a negative way. Um, because as human beings, we think, you know, I mean, that's why we're the most evolved in the animal kingdom, because we can plan and we can reflect. And that has in turn helped us become who we are and, and evolve. So thinking is not a bad thing, right? <laughs> um, you know, and I think I think that's number one is to uh, to be nice to ourselves, you know, to not there's no reason to be hard on yourself because you're thinking. Because as a human being, like, that's what the mind's going to do. It's going to try to figure things out, you know. So for me, I'm always, you know, when I know that I'm in this, this state of being stressed and going through these thought loops, man, thought loops are crazy, right? Like, like sometimes your mind will just think of something over, like, you think of something 20 times. And nothing changes. <laughs> it's crazy. Does that ever happen to you? Like I'll go, I'll just keep going through something in my mind and nothing new comes of it. <laughs> and then I'm like, what, wait, what did I do for the last half an hour? That's crazy. Um, yeah, yeah. So, you know, I think for me, um, I'll share that, you know, working from home, kind of having an inner bit, internet based job man it's it's tough and it's tricky like every single day is a little bit of a battle between hey i can sit here and get caught up on instagram you know i can sit here and go deep into a youtube hole waste time and then you know essentially kind of feel like shit after um or i can choose to go out in the world you know, or I can choose to go do things that I know will bring me back into this moment and to not be here, but to be here and to be alive, you know? So that, that, that becomes, yeah, that, that's, that's something that I go through almost on a daily basis. It's pretty crazy. It's wild. Um, and a lot of the time I lose, you know, but like I said, um, it's it's just what comes with being a human being right now in this modern day age, I think. And all, all I can do is just keep trying to win that battle, you know. Um, yeah, but I want to share a few things that help me with that, these overthinking patterns, you know, when I'm getting too in my head. Because essentially what I think, what, what I feel like is going on is is when you're in the head, you're just living in... You're living in the mind, right? You're living up here and there's a disconnect, right? And we know that these things are tied together. There's not like the mind and the body. It's all one, right? So we have to find these things that bring us back into existing here in this present moment and not here in the mind in a faraway universe, in a fantasy, in some stressful situation, you know? Um, so number one is movement, right? Like 
movement and for me just doing just doing like strength training mobility training stretching all this stuff isn't really enough for me you know and maybe it is for you but for me because I've trained for so many years I can still just be up in my head while I'm doing all these things um because you know it's it's so repetitive right and and it doesn't take much exploration so for me if I really want to get out of my mind I have to move organically you know for not for a goal right not to achieve something but to just move my body to explore to improvise I mean dude if you're having trouble with overthinking like go into a dark room put on your favorite song and dance you know and just dance hard. I don't care if you're a good dancer or if you've never danced before. Like, if you do that, good luck. Good luck living in that overthinking pattern. You know, you're going to come into your body and it's going to feel good, you know. Yeah, man. So movement, like moving organically, exploring, go to the park, crawl around, stuff like this. It's going gonna, it's gonna to connect you back with the body and then connect you with what's around you as, as well, you know? And, yeah, speaking of what's around you, like, I think getting in nature really, really, yeah, really helps me a lot, you know? And, of course, it's like, yeah, like, we're human beings. We come from th- this universe. We, we're supposed to be in tune with nature and probably, you know, the modern-day lifestyle is taking us out of tune with nature, more or less. Um, but another thing for me that really, that really, uh, like helps me is, is when I see, so for instance, when I'm sitting at the ocean and I see a seal, like the other day this happened where I I was like kind of caught up in my head thinking about things. I saw this seal and the first thing that, that went through my mind or, or I felt was like, damn, look at this seal. He's just looking for food right now. And he's trying not to get eaten by a shark right now. You know what I mean? Like, and I'm sitting here thinking about, you know, what new shoes I want to get. And I'm stressing out about that. <laughs> and this dude is just trying to exist, you know. And it's really humbling, you know. And you see birds flying around. And, and uh, you just realize that we're all on this, on this world, like, living our own existence trying to survive going through struggle going through growth and um it's humbling like it it makes you it definitely takes you out of that that self-centeredness that i think we all go through right where we think our shit is the most important shit you know (sighs) yeah nature nature man seeing a sunrise in the morning like yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Um, yeah, I I like routine, but then if I get too engulfed in a routine, that's when life becomes kind of monotonous. That's when I get bored, and that's when you, for me, I kind of turn to distraction, and I, I that's when I'm I'm gonna hop on my phone to try to like free myself from this from this monotony. Um, so what I really like to do is if I'm feeling that way, just throw, throw a little screwball in there. You know what I mean? Like if you usually get up and sit on the couch and and have your coffee in the morning, right? Something like that. Then make your coffee and go for a drink it while you go for a walk around the block. You know, something simple like that, that you can just kind of just just do a slight change in your day, right? You don't have to move to Africa, but um, you can simply just take a different route. What's up, man? You can simply just take a different route to work, you know? Like, just these little simple things kind of trigger new experience, you know? And I think nuance in life really, really leads to this open mind and this more experiencing um, persona and lifestyle, you know, like, and, and, and I think that's going to, that's going to put you in existing in your body and bring you into that present moment, um, more or less. And I was actually just reading a book where it was, it was talking about these signs of being overstressed. And it was kind of like, 
things that are not commonly thought of. And one of the signs was actually resistance to new things, right? If you feel like you, like doing something out of the ordinary is just like really daunting to you, then there's probably, it's probably a good sign that you're going through some stress. You're maybe living, living in that overthinking pattern a little bit. So let's go, let's do something new, right? <laughs> you know, if you're a bodybuilder, if you're a power lifter, let's go to a yoga class, you know, like let's, let's do something new that challenges the body and the mind, right? Yeah, man. Um, and, and like, you know, probably a really simple one is just being with people, connecting with people, you know, and being intentional about it not sitting there with your friend and being on your phone, but like just, yeah, being with your friend or a group of friends and really connecting. And once again, this kind of like for me, when I'm with someone that I care about and I'm like, oh shit, I want to hear about your struggles. I want to hear what's going on with you. You know what I mean? Like it humbles you, you know, it's like, it's like for you to be so obsessed with your own stuff like you see that that's just it, it's it's uh it's neurotic and it's uh yeah it's it's just that's not the way that I want to be in a situation right in a in a situation where I'm with people and all I'm still just up here just thinking about my own shit like I want to be learning about what other people are going through and you know what I find usually is when is everybody has their struggle, right? Nobody's completely free and happy. So when you hear your friend's struggle, it puts yours in perspective and you're like, okay, we're all going through some stuff and we're all going to get through it. I think that's a nice place to end. We're all going through some stuff, but we're all going to be all right. We're all going to make it. Um, yeah, I appreciate you guys listening to me. I think sometimes... I just need to say some of these things for myself in the fact that, um, you know, some of you guys can relate to it and some of you guys can gain anything from it that, uh, that makes me happy. It warms my heart, man. Um, <laughs> all right, guys, all the usual stuff like the video, subscribe to strength side as always.